Wendy, Perinatal Pelvic Health Specialist. In this video, we will discuss the causes, risks and myths around the C-section shelf and also cover how common it is and how to fix it. What causes a C-section shelf? The main cause of a C-section shelf is the healing process after a caesarean delivery. So during a C-section, a cut is made through the abdominal wall at your lower tummy to reach the womb and deliver the baby. The cut is closed up with stitches by a surgeon and then the body uses inflammation as a healing response. This involves swelling to get more blood to the area to help heal and repair the skin, muscles, tendons and tissues. But in many cases, healing can cause scar tissue and changes in the abdominal shape. This creates this shelf-like appearance and a bulge sticking out on the lower tummy area. Factors that can influence the formation of a C-section shelf. Three things can affect the shape, the type of cut, also known as the incision, how the incision is closed up, and genetics or body composition. So let's explore these in more detail. The type of incision the surgeon uses can impact the chance of developing a shelf afterwards. For example, a vertical incision may bulge more. This is compared to a horizontal or bikini line incision that goes from one side of the tummy across to the other side. Proper closure and suturing, which is the technical word for stitches, are essential and will reduce the chances of a C-section shelf or bulge on the tummy area. Body composition affects how the abdomen heals after a C-section. For example, body weight, muscle tone and skin elasticity. Women with weak abdominal muscles or more body fat may be more likely to develop a C-section shelf. Risk factors. Anybody who has a C-section has a higher chance of developing a C-section shelf. But three other things can make it more likely too. People who have had multiple C-sections may have a higher chance of developing a C-section shelf afterwards. This is due to the cumulative effect of repeated surgeries and healing on the abdominal tissues. Obesity adds strain and pressure to the abdominal muscles and tissues, and it can interfere with healing and raise the chance of developing a C-section shelf. Factors such as diabetes or smoking and some medical conditions may cause poor wound healing. They can impair the body's ability to heal after surgery. This raises the chances of complications like scar tissues and bulges. Does everybody who has a C-section get the shelf? No, not everyone who has a C-section gets a shelf or bulge on the lower tummy area. It varies based on the surgical technique used to close the incision and the body composition of the mother. Exact statistics are not available, but many women who get C-sections may have some degree of abdominal bulges or changes in shape to the lower tummy area. A study by Nehas in 2017 found that among women who had had C-sections, about four out of 10 had some belly bulging or shape changes in the tummy area. Another study by Avoama in 2020 also said that around three or four out of 10 women had a bulge after their C-section. How can you reduce the appearance of a C-section shelf? Here are six ways to help reduce the size of a C-section shelf. C-section scar massage can really help to reduce the size of the shelf. Massaging the scar promotes better blood flow, breaks down scar tissue and improves tissue flexibility. Start massaging the area a few weeks post-surgery using gentle circular vertical motions with your fingers. This can improve healing, reduce swelling and minimize the appearance of the shelf. Try to do this consistently every day. Core exercises can help reduce the bulge of skin and tissue above a C-section scar. Strengthening the deep core muscles will improve overall abdominal tone and support. Core exercises such as those in Mutu system will also improve your posture and reduce abdominal separation, also called diastasis recti. The right exercises will gradually increase core strength without straining the site of the C-section. Start slowly and be consistent with your core workouts. Maintain a healthy lifestyle, eat a balanced diet, exercise for 20 to 30 minutes, five times a week if you can. Try to maintain a healthy weight. All of this will improve your health, support your recovery and help wound healing after a C-section. Proper self-care after surgery is really important. Follow your doctor or your provider's instructions for wound care. Find out how much you can safely exercise and see your doctor at follow-up visits to check how you're healing. 
Doing postpartum physical therapy exercise can strengthen the abdominal muscles. They can also improve muscle tone and help with healing after a C-section, so you'd be less likely to get the C-section shelf. Some women may choose cosmetic surgery and they may get abdominoplasty, a surgery also known as a tummy tuck. This will help shape the belly in a way that gets rid of the C-section shelf. Speak to your doctor to check if surgery is the right option for you. C-section myth busting. Now let's bust three myths about C-sections because there is a lot of information out there that might not be quite right. Myth number one, that all women who have C-sections will develop a C-section shelf. While C-section shelves are common, not all who have caesareans will get one. Many factors affect the chance of developing this. They include body shape, what happens during surgery, and the healing process after surgery. Myth two, that C-section shelves are permanent. While they may be persistent, a C-section shelf is not necessarily permanent. With time and care, the belly's appearance will improve. The tissues will keep healing and changing as you exercise and as the wound heals. You may want to speak to your doctor about getting surgery to reduce the size of this scarring and shelf. And myth three, C-section shelves are only a cosmetic concern. Having a bulge on your belly may also cause discomfort or pain. You can see a doctor that specializes in pregnancy, obstetrics and gynecology to give you advice and recommend treatment such as physical therapy or plastic surgery where appropriate. A C-section shelf can form after caesarean delivery. Factors such as the type of cut during surgery, body shape and composition, and care after surgery can affect if a C-section shelf forms. Not all women who have C-sections get a C-section shelf, but now you know the causes, risks and myths, then you can help to choose care and treatment options after surgery. By adopting healthy habits, you can improve healing and how the C-section area looks. Follow after surgery care guidelines from your doctor and get medical care as needed to help you fully recover. Thank you for watching.